Welcome to Electra Online and now we have a visualization of how we pay off loans when we do amortized loans for 15 or 30 years. So let's say we have a $200,000 home uh, loan at 8% interest and we're paying it off over 30 years. The monthly payments, $1,467.53 per month. Now, if you sell the house after five years or after 10 years, or even if you don't sell the house, but you just want to know how much of your loan you already paid off, you'd be surprised how little that is over the first so many years. After five years, for example, and we can calculate that using this equation right here, and if you want to know how to use the formula, take a look at the previous couple of examples where we show you how to use this formula, it will tell you how much of the principal is left to be paid. So, after making payments for five years, over $88,000 in payments after five years, you will still owe $190,000 of the original $200,000 loan to the bank. So the vast majority will have gone to paying interest to the bank. After 10 years, the principal is still $175,000. After 10 years of making these payments like this, which is $170,000 worth of payments, only 25,000 of it will go to paying off the principal and the rest of it will be interest. Even after 15 years, halfway through the loan, you will still owe more than 75% of the original loan amount. And all that money that you've been paying to the bank, except for the $47,000, will have gone to interest. Not until you start hitting 20 and 25 years are you begin to pay off a substantial amount of the original loan. And of course, after 30 years, it will all be paid off. But yet, after 25 years worth of payment, you will still owe $72,000 to the bank. Now, if instead you get a 15-year loan, for the same amount, $200,000, same interest rate, 8%, now your payments will go up to $1,911 per month. You say, well, I can't really afford that kind of payment. I feel comfortable paying $1,467, but not $1,911. That's just too much. But maybe you cannot afford not to pay that. And I'll show you why. Because after five years of making payments, of course, it'll be larger payments, you will have paid off $43,000 of your principal and after 10 years you will owe less than 10% of the original amount and after 15 years it's all paid off. Graphically, take a look at the difference. Notice that for the first 5, 10, 15 years a very small percentage of your original loan gets paid off and it takes a long time before you start making substantial inroads into paying off the, the loan. But if you get a 15-year loan, it very quickly begins to t pay off and you start really reducing the loan amount by an enormous amount very, very quickly. So 15-year loans are much faster at paying off the loan and initially in the beginning of the loan, you already start making a very good dent into that loan debt compared to getting a 30-year loan. I would always recommend, if you can afford it, to go for the 15-year loan instead of the 30-year loan. Even a 25-year loan or a 20-year loan is much better than a 30-year loan if you cannot afford the 15-year loan. And here is the dramatic difference between the two. And that's how we do it. <clears throat>